Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the fifth and the final video of the inventory feature that we are learning that is price level and price list. So in this video, we will try and understand how are we going to handle the price escalation or the price de-escalation in your price list. How are we going to manage the increase or decrease in the price list. So that is what we will see in this video. Let us go to tally and explore the option of revision in the price list upwards or downwards. Let us learn now how to handle the revision in the price list, whether you want to revise the price list upward or downward. So for you to revise the price list, all you have to do is select alter from gateway of tally, enter, come down to price list stock group, select price list stock group. If you recall in our previous video, we had created two different price level that is distributor and dealer and we created the price list for each one of them. Now let us do the price revision for these items of the price list under the price level dealer and distributor. So how do we revise the price list? If you notice on the right hand side button bar, you have this button called revise price. Click on reverse price and now it is asking you select the stock group. So we had created price list for the items under computer accessories. So let us select computer accessories, enter and we are seeing the list of our price levels. So first let us select distributor, enter and this is very important now. Now you have to say what is the applicable date for the price revision that you are going to do. Let us say we want to reverse the price from 1st of May. So all you have to do is just press 1.5 and now tally gives you a very very simple method to increase or decrease your price and that is what we are seeing here. Type of a revise price. By setting up this globally, we can actually revise the price of all the items under the price list. So let us understand the type of revision in the price. The first one is revise price. There is the rate that we had specified. So we have two options here. Do you want to decrease by amount or do you want to decrease by percentage? Now when you say decrease by amount, whatever is the amount that you are entering, for example, let us say when I say decrease by amount, Tally will ask you what is the amount by which you want to decrease your existing price. Now let's say if I say 100 rupees, then Tally will decrease 100 rupees from each of the items existing price list rate. Now this might not be an ideal situation because you will have different item with different rate. So reducing 100 rupees from every item might have variation in the percentage of price. So ideally what you can do is if you want to decrease the price, you can say decrease by percentage. So by setting up the percentage, let us say you want to decrease by 5% or 10%, just enter 5 or 10 tally will now go and look for the rate of each item and it will decrease by 10 percent and apply the decreased rate as effective from first of may so increase by amount again might not be ideal so let us say increase by percentage enter and now let's say you want to increase the rate of all the items under the distributor price level by 10%. So all you have to do is just press 10 and press enter. Now, if you notice at the bottom here, we are seeing the original price list for the price level distributor and we have specified discount at different level of quantity that they are procuring. Now you can decide whether you want to further increase the percentage of discount in that case you can select increase by percentage or if you want to decrease by percentage you can select decrease by percentage so in this case let us say we don't want to increase or decrease the percentage of the discount that we have already offering in such case all you can do is just press not applicable now the moment you press not applicable you will see that tally is revise the price it says revise price list updated to view the price list press any key to continue so now when you just press enter again i have just brought the original price list at the bottom you can observe here that now tally is calculated 10% on the existing price and it is increased by 10% only the rate our discount structure 
again if you observe the table below it is not changed so the original price you can also observe that what is the previous rate that we had specified so this is our previous price list which was applicable from 1st of april so you will see that in our original price we had specified 1700 as the rate for logitech wireless mouse if they are picking up less than 25 so 1700 plus 10 percent is 170 so 1700 plus 170 you will observe that the rate is now increased to 1870. Similarly, for all other items, 10% is added to the existing price. You can always see the previous price list and also we will see the cost price of each of the item. So all you have to do now is just accept the screen just by pressing Ctrl A. Similarly, we can revise the price for the dealer price level for the items under computer accessories. So again, come here and click on revise price. So the group is going to be computer accessories. The price level we are going to select now is dealers. Again, we will say it is applicable from 1st of May 23. Revise price, we understood how to handle this so let us say we will say increase by percentage in this case we want to increase only by five percent enter and again you don't want to disturb the discount structure so select not applicable again tally is updated the price level for the dealer press any key and you will now again observe that the previous price list which was applicable from 1st of april is also getting listed here your cost price is also getting listed here and in this case we said five percent of the existing price you want to revise upwards so the original price list as on 1st of april was 2000 five percent on 2000 is 100 rupees and you will observe here that 2000 plus 100 2100 is increased in the rate of the item similarly all the other rates also have increased based on the five percent increase that we had specified and observe that the discount structure is remaining unchanged now we are ready with our revised price list so again just press ctrl a to accept the screen and now let us do one sales invoice and see whether tally is applying the revised price list effective from 1st of may let us change the date to 1st of may again if you recall our distributor is lakshmi agencies let us select lakshmi agencies and you will observe now that the distributor price level is automatically picked up since we had specified in the party master so the first item let us take logitech wireless again look at the table below this is the revised price table that we just now created so let me select logitech wireless mouse enter and observe the table here we are saying if the customer is picking up less than 25 then the revised price is going to be 1870 so we'll say 20 numbers enter and you will observe that the revised price is already applied let's come back and say that they are picking up 75 numbers enter and you will see that the rate is 1705 just observe the table below and also the five percent discount is applied and the net amount is calculated here so this way tally will automatically pick up the rate from the revised price list based on the effective date now let us say for some reason you are going to invoice the customer prior to 1st of May. Let's see what happens. So let me just change the date as 30th of April. Enter. The moment we change the date prior to the revised rate, you will observe that the rate tally is picked up is from the first price list. So again, observe the table here. This is the table where we had set up the original price list, which was effective from 1st of April. So the amount is beyond 50. The rate is 1550 and discount of 5 percent is automatically captured so this way based on the effective date tally will apply the rate that you are specifying in the respective price levels of the price list if you have understood the concept of this price list actually you can start leveraging the price list to offer any special discount or any special scheme like festival offer or any such thing use the price list apply the price list for the specified period and later on you can remove the price list which we saw in our second video that how you can delete a price level not the price list so you can delete the price level and continue with your 
existing price level so the flexibility of you creating any price level specifying any price list for those levels and also you have the facility for revising the price list upwards or downwards i hope this video would have given you clarity on how you can handle the price revision of your price list so in the upcoming videos i will start with yet another feature of tally and we will walk through that feature in multiple parts so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much